Hey everyone, welcome back. So about seven months ago when I did the budget Uber Smiter video, apparently in that video I said that I would be soon making a crushing blow video. Well, me being scatterbrained, I completely forgot about this. Until one of the comments in that video reminded me of it. Guy said, hey, where's that crushing blow video? So here it is. Here is crushing blow. So what is crushing blow? Well, it's a chance that your physical attack will lower the monster's health by a percentage. That percentage depends on a couple different factors. The default is one-fourth. One-fourth of the monster's health, current health. Versus other players, it's one-tenth. Versus hirelings, it's also one-tenth. Champions, uniques, and bosses, it gets down to one-eighth. So it's half of what it is by default against bosses. And then all of those numbers are cut in half for ranged weapons. So the way I'm going to showcase this is by killing D-Clone on a smiter. The reason I chose a smiter is because smite is unaffected by attack rating. So every single time you smite, you hit. I'm putting 100% crushing blow on him so that every single time I smite, crushing blow applies. Hope you enjoy. So the gear I'm using is very simple. Runeward Black for 40% crushing blow. G-Face for 35% more crushing blow and goblin toes for 25% crushing blow. Between those three items I have 100% crushing blow which means every time I smite crushing blow is being applied. My belt is a crafted blood belt for open wounds, raven frost for cannot be frozen, runeward smoke for 50% all res, a pally shield with four perfect diamonds for a bunch of all res, and a life tap wand on swap to keep me alive. You can see it's players one and Diablo does walk the earth. I have max block, max resistances. Good afternoon. Oh, God. 
so there you have it crushing blow it's fairly simple for the most part there is one thing i don't understand and i would like your guys's help with actually and it's how crushing blow is affected by players count in my video i clearly show that p8 d clone takes a lot longer to kill than p1 d clone using crushing blow however on area summit it says the life removed is also scaled with numbers of players so that if a monster has 450 percent more life due to players eight the life removed is further reduced by the same amount. So you would think a P1D clone and a P8D clone would have the same kill speed if you're using Crushing Blow, or pretty close to the same kill speed, at least until the execute kill time when Crushing Blow is negligible. But at least for the first 50% of his life or so, you would think that they would go down at the same rate. But in my video, I clearly demonstrate that that is not the case. So I'd like your guys' help on this, if you don't mind. I'm not really too great at math, so what does this mean? Does it or does it not scale to player's count? To me, it's looking like it does not scale to player's count, and that the amount of crushing blow it's removing is based on the amount of health he has on player's one. And I've heard that from other sources before as well. But on Ariat Summit, which is a site that I usually trust pretty well, it's saying the opposite. What do you guys think? Can anyone help me out with that? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you did not like it, slam that thumbs down button. Go ahead and leave a comment if you want. I'll do my best to get back to it. And of course, you are welcome to subscribe if you want to. You can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash beardly357. And you can also join my Discord if you want. Thanks. Have a good day.